this video, I ended up doing five tiles. And um, as you can see, the last couple are the ones that really turned out great. But please watch the first tile. Um, I talk a lot about this process, um, how to do it, what not to do, and paint pouring in general. This, you'll, plus you'll get a little idea, uh, get to know me better. So keep watching, and I sped it up uh, in all the areas that I could to make this video a little shorter. Okay, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to talk about, um, I want to thank some people that are inspirations to me for well, for a lot of things, for a lot of pouring videos, but especially that have already done the Shelly technique, Bloom technique. Um, I think most of these guys have are on the Facebook private page. And so I'm going to give a shout out to Canilla Sirocco, Jen Neal, Tammy Anderson, Molly's Artistry, Lorraine Fawcett, Lori McDonald, Erica Hughes, Karen at Waterfall Acrylics, Art by Susan, Ginny Post, Nicole Lee, Fiona Art, Saskia Smith, and Carol's Art Room. So I'll have the, these names at the bottom and in the information, and you could go ahead and uh, search these guys. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to them. They also have done this technique, and their recipes are different than mine. So anyway. Support, we try to support each other and please give them um, a subscription, a like. That would be awesome. So, let me tell you about the colors today. First color is Art Minds DIY. This is a candy apple. Unfortunately, I heard they stopped making this, so I went down to Michael's and got a couple bottles. Sarah Mack mentioned it, and this is a translucent or iridescent green. It's beautiful changing colors. So that's this one. And it's pretty thick. You can see that. Very pretty. The next one is this is an amethyst by Folk Art. It's a metallic color. Really pretty. Shimmery. I love the shimmeries and the glitters on this technique. Okay, on this one this is a, a Creative Inspirations Phalo Blue, and then I mixed it with a Metallic Deep Sapphire from Extreme Sheen. So I mixed it with that, and then I also added a little bit of the Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. Just a pinch will really make a difference if you don't have the metallics right now, or if you just want to make a regular color of shimmer. Awesome stuff. Then this is the pigment that we made up. And that is the Gold Rush. That's by Get Creative with Heige Life. You can't read it there, but here's another color. All right. You can use any pigments, primary elements, um, color cottage, any of them will probably work. And then the blue is another Art Minds brush metallic. It's aquamarine. We're going to stop making this also. It's really pretty and very sparkly, gorgeous. These are most of the colors that I showed you um, that I used on these other these paintings here, these blooms. So I'm going to sort of stick with those. I'm going to add a gold. And since I don't have how I laid them down, I'm going to lay them down in this order right here. The order does matter. Um, I have my, this is, well, the phalo blue is transparent. So I'm not sure because these don't say on here. So I'm putting that one in the middle. I could put the red there, but I don't think the red would go with these other colors. So anyway, I'm going to just go with it. So let's get started here. So first, I want the satin. So I'm going to pour my pillow. Don't measure. I don't know why I should. It's pretty thick. I just want to make sure that when I tilt it, it's going to go off easily, stretch easily. That's probably too much. But 
there it is. By the way, I use these cups, uh, the paper cups I get at the Dollar Tree, and they're perfect. It just balances right on there really good. Wax paper underneath, if you do the puddle pads, um, I don't like them because it's hard to get these back off. They stick and they pull up the cotton. So the wax paper, it comes off easier. So let me see if I can get you down just a little bit further for this. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm actually using more colors than I normally would. I usually only use three or four colors, but I want to try that gold. So I just threw that in there. You don't need very much. And the reason why I'm moving it around and around is because you don't want to dump it. You want to be soft on the top so it doesn't go through to the bottom. So I'm trying to keep the paint on the top of the pillow, if that makes sense. sort of gooey and I thought my table was level but maybe not there's the gold I'm curious about as long as you don't put it on from way up here you don't want it sinking so that's and plus it's easier to get off the stick and control when you make a movement like that Not a whole lot needed. And here's a cell activator. What if this is thinner? Yeah. If you find you're not getting a lot of cells, make this a little bit thinner. Make sure it's a little thinner than your, that's probably too much white. Let's see. Okay, here's where you get messy because it's sticky. So there's an air bubble right there. I'm going to pop it. And as we stretch, if you see more, you can also pop it. So I'm going to blow. I don't know if you could see me. I'm going to put my head down there. So what you want to do, you don't want to like put your lips close together and blow. You want to sort of open your mouth and blow, if that makes sense. You don't want to, you want to, I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it, but it sort of takes practice and I don't even have it down. So we'll see right down the middle. And then I'll show you what I use to spread it out a little bit. Okay. So that's what I did there. Back it up a little bit. And then I probably should have done a little, a little bit more, but if you don't get it the first time, you can go ahead and put it down. Okay, I'm not get, that's one thing about this technique. I mean, every batch you make can be different. That's why it's so frustrating for people, um, me included. Um, one day it'll be just perfect, and the next day it'll just not work very well. So, so if you see any white spots coming up, just take the little stick and go ahead and grab them pop them right now. There's some coming up. Now this doesn't have a whole lot of cells, but let's see. So what, after you do that, you want to wait because it's pushed down onto the tile and you want to wait for that to come back up. 
So a lot of times I just drop it on the cup. That will help it come back up. Maybe pop some air bubbles right now instead of later. And then you can sort of hide the colors. So I have added more Floetrol to the cell activator if I'm not getting enough cells. So on the second one, that's what I'm going to do and see if there's a difference. It's probably because I didn't blow it good either. And that's a technique all on its, in itself. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get these corners. Your hands are going to get messy. You will drop tiles in the middle of tilting because it's hard to hold on to and it's slick. We've all done it. All right, so that gold is gorgeous, by the way. Super good. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep you in frame. Start tilting. I don't like that, so that's probably coming off. It's a slow process. It's not like doing a flip cup on four tiles. I mean, it's time consuming. So, you know, I get a little anxious. The reason why I liked paint pouring was because I got sort of instant gratification. And this takes a little more patience, but in the end, it's worth it. And, you know, it's just so weird how we get addicted to paint pouring. I mean, I'm totally addicted. I started the channel after I started about 2017, probably the spring, summer. And ever since then, I just can't wait to get down in my studio and try. And there's so many different techniques now compared to what we had then. And I just want to try them all. And there's just not enough hours in the day. And it's so weird that I'm not like the only one that loves this so much. Um, it's, I don't know, what kind of personality or people. I mean, it can be expensive, but, you know, it's my hobby. I don't even have time to really concentrate on selling any besides being on Instagram. I haven't opened an Etsy shop. I don't really... I don't know. It doesn't I don't really care if I do because I mean I'm not skiing. That would cost a lot, right? Or hiking and buying all the gear. I'm paint pouring. And I love it. I give it as gifts, I give it away. I have sold some pieces. Some people found me on Reddit, Instagram, but you know, maybe someday I'll have enough time to really get into that part of it. For now, I have like a lot of paintings ready to go, hangers on, backs on. So, I don't know. You know, I do like fishing, so I wonder if it's something like that. I love ocean fishing, and I wonder if, you know, it's... And because I like fishing, you go out there and you never know what you're going to catch. And it's just one of those things, like treasure hunting. You never know what you're going to get. It's creative. I don't know. Put comments below on why you think you love it so much. I don't know why this light's doing that. I, I don't know if it's a certain personality. still sort of awesome. I don't know if you could see how shimmery that gold is. Super pretty. But not what I was going for. So I'm going to clean my hands. I'll be right back and I got to change the battery. Always have 
a ton of paper towels and napkins, dollar store stuff. My, you should see my camera. It's paint all over it. I'm glad it's an old camera. All right, what I did is I added some more Floetrol and some more ink to my cell activator, stirred it up. Let's give it another go. I'm not going to use the gold. <clears throat> I didn't use it. I've never used this. I've never used um, straight pigments before, so it's probably not a good time to experiment today. So I'm going to go back to these four colors, and let's see what happens this time. Thinner than the other paints. <clears throat> Hope I don't have too much. Looks like it might be too much, but let's check it out. Okay, here I go. Wish me luck here. Move it over a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and blow it out. Sorry, I was probably off screen. Getting more cells this time. And I'm a little dizzy. <laughs> so. Sorry about the color change in the camera. I'm not sure what's going on. It should not be. It should be nice and bright white. So I'm going to take this straw. It's a flexible straw that I use in my water containers. Um, if I see an area where I need, like right here, I could stretch it out a little bit. Sometimes it works. Sometimes there's not enough left on there to do anything. Can't blow a lot with the straw because the condensation from your breath it will start dripping off the end and you don't want to get that in your painting. Okay, so that did make a difference whether it be uh, I blew it a little better than I did the first time and I added Floetrol and more ink to the cell activator so I will change up that recipe down below and give you what I used for this one. Although yesterday it worked fine. Don't ask me why. I'm going to start trying some swipes with this recipe also. I see some people doing those and they're beautiful. I've always loved swipes. Up in some bubbles. I mean, who knows? It could have been the gold. It just wasn't getting along with the other colors for some reason. Um, I've heard people say they don't like the pigments in this and this type of technique. Other people say they love them. So it's, it's everything you use. It, it would come out different. So. I'll have to try the pigments again and let you know what I find out. But for now, I, I'm not blaming it on the pigment. You could stretch it however you want. I usually go one corner to another corner, back to the middle, and then do the other corners. And I try not to lose a lot of my cells, but sometimes you're just going to. So 
So I got some really nice lacing, but not so many blooms. I mean, not blooms, but cells. And I think when I, when I get just the right consistency, which it's not easy to do, um, like I said, if I thin my paints down, I'll have more little cells. The thicker the paint, I have bigger cells. But if it's not just perfect, then you won't have very many either. So it's a hit and miss. Just like, you know, doing a flip cup. You never know what it's going to turn out to be. But I'm not going to show you just my awesome pours when I'm doing a video. I'm going to show you when I fail too. Believe me, everybody that you watch has fails. Not everybody shows them, me included. But on this one, I'm going to show you because there's going to, you're going to have a lot of fails before you are successful. Although, you know, this, I don't really consider this a fail. It's pretty cool. First time I got that color. All right. Um, let me show you one more that I did. And you won't believe how dirty your workspace is. You'll have stuff scattered everywhere. <clears throat> anyway, this is really pretty. Shimmer. Got the sides. Coming down the sides. So just keep experimenting. If you need to tweak something, go ahead. Experimenting is fun, whether it's this technique or any other techniques you might invent. Okay, I'm doing another tile using the same colors in a different order. See what happens. I haven't adjusted anything from my last one. better than it did and I'll fix it after. So then you just touch up the sides and there you go. So I'm still going to be tweaking and if I have another recipe that I come up with that's going to give better results. Um, I really like the ones I did yesterday and I made thicker paints and but I used thick paints today so Maybe it was the order I put it down, or maybe the cell activator consistency was different, but <clears throat> I didn't have the phalo blue in here. Isn't that awesome? So, I mean, this, these with the big webbing lacing, it's super cool. And again, one with smaller lacing. I mean smaller cells but not much lacing. Also if you want to with your cell activator use a Mars black or a black oxide you can have your um, cell activator black and have all the lacing black which is something I'm going to try. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if this will show. I added more paint to the mixture because I think it might have been a little too thin. So let's try it again. 
Same colors, different order again. The order this time is green, the, the sapphire, or I'm sorry, the um, brushed metallics aquamarine. This is phalo blue with extreme sheen sapphire and the purple, which is amethyst folk art. This is candy apple. And I kept, those are pretty thick. So let's do a, another pillow. So the only thing I changed is I added more Amsterdam white into my cell activator. What happened was when I added the Floetrol and I added the ink, I should have added the Amsterdam to make up for the thickness um, because I thinned it down too much. It's still thinner than my paints, but I didn't make up, I didn't add more Amsterdam. So by adding more Amsterdam, to this I ended up getting the bigger lacing and I did change the order of the paint but I was really looking at the difference in the lacing and the cells huge I'm gonna try another one exactly the same and see what I could get and then I will know all right I have the pillow base paint already down and get, I get ready to do the colors again in the same order as I did last time. down to the base on these blows you could tell so you really got to skim that cell activator over the other colors if you get too deep you're going to have these white blotches that you're going to have there's really nothing you can do about them at this point maybe run them off I get those a lot I mean it's it's hard to just skim on the top you have to Sometimes you need to blow like pretty much horizontal with the with the tile in order to get that paint to skim over the top. So that one, and that one, they're a nice pair. Thanks for going on this journey with me through my fails and successes with the Bloom Technique. Don't forget the Shelly Art discount code below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great night. Bye.